Great news. There's a quick way you can save money. Switch to GEICO. GEICO could help you get great coverage at a great price. And it only takes 15 minutes to see if you could save 15% or more on car insurance. Go to GEICO.com today and see how much you could save. Welcome again to another highly questionable Thursday. You know this guy's around all the time. Izzy Gutierrez, what do you like on the show today, Izzy? How does Rob Manfred keep beating up my drought? Why? Manfred! Manfred talk! Dale, papi! Will Larry Fedora Gomez help him or hurt him? This is how we do it around here. We take a North Carolina football coach that we're not terribly interested in, and we take his comments, and then we drag him. Look at what he says here. The North Carolina football coach sounding like a caveman out of the past. I'm not sure that anything is proven that football itself causes it. Now, we do know from what my understanding is that the blows to the repeated blows to the head cause it. So I'm assuming that every sport that you have, uh, football included, could be a problem with that, right? Uh, as long as uh, you've got any kind of contact, you could have that. That does not diminish the fact that the game is, is still safer than it's ever been in the history of the game because we continue to tweak the game, you know, to try to make it safer for our players. It's kind of maddening when you listen to that sometimes. Even the part where he talks about other sports who, you know, the contact sports maybe take blows to the head. Yes, that's possibly true. And I'm sure if you did uh, studies on lifelong lacrosse players who take hits to the head, they probably have CTE-related issues too. But the idea that the, the, the game is under attack, man, to ignore the science is is just unfair and ridiculous of you. And then to say the game's under attack, no, no, no. I mean, look, they're talking about maybe from a youth level not having so much contact and therefore maybe saving players brains in the future and everything else the game itself is not being attacked but even if it were bigger faster stronger you could say it's as safe as it's ever been the hits that you take are constantly harder than you've ever taken them ignoring the science is just such a dumb thing but the counterculture because he's got some supporters within the coaching ranks the counterculture there is mind-boggling here's the thing though with this kind of mindset i'm going to read to you the entire quote you didn't hear it there it's not just that our game is under attack i fear the game will be pushed so far from what we know that we won't recognize it in 10 years. And here's the money part. And if it does, our country will go down too. Mm. Boom! (laughs) Boy, I didn't know North Carolina had a football. Oh, there it is. There it is. He he learned it from that piece of paper. Boom. Will Boogie's explanation of why he joined the Warriors calm the critics? Can I interest you in a Showtime documentary about a 270-pound man coming off of an Achilles tear? Let's look in on Boogie Cousins explaining this to you. I knew how I would be perceived from some. Come on. Come on. One more. Awesome. You can give a I'm saying that now because I'm seeing the reaction, but I didn't give a I knew what my ace was, and... We made the call. This <laughs> out there that's probably ripping their hair out right now. And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Did we expect Boogie Cousins to give a bleep about anything? No. I mean, that's kind of what he does. What's interesting to me is that people say this could calm the critics because they were the only ones who called them. No. The critics are going to show up and say the reason they can give him a call, the reason they can take a chance on a 20, late 20s uh, guy coming off of an Achilles tear is because they're so good. And if that gamble doesn't work, they still might win the championship. I love this about Boogie Cousins joining Draymond Green. I feel like he's not going to go into the Hall of Fame as a Sacramento King or New Orleans Pelican or even here. He's just going to go in as, I don't give an F. That's what he should say on the front of his uniform. He doesn't give an F. Draymond doesn't give an F. But Kevin Durant gives enough Fs for all of them. And he's searching your Twitter account right now trying to find out what you're saying about it. This guy has a Showtime special. (laughs) Yeah, documentary. He's about the eighth best player in the world. I mean, mean, he's so right about that. We're giving the other guys stuff on Netflix. It's much bigger and longer. Wait till you see the Nick Young special. Should baseball one the Mike Trout Rob Manfred beef to end or continue? 
This is funny. The only way to make Mike Trout more interesting is to have the commissioner seem like he's ripping him by saying, hey, it's not a baseball problem that you're not more famous. It's a Mike Trout problem. You have to do a little bit better in terms of searching out endorsement opportunities, fame, and publicity. Baseball's got a problem in that. Mike Trout might be the best player to have ever played in the sport. And if he played in New York, you'd be likely to know it. But more than that, people outside of your family that don't like sports might also know it. If he played another sport at a different time, or if he played this sport at a different time, he's in a situation where he can't win here. Even if he wins, he's not going to be a much bigger star than he is right now. I love this so much for this reason. Mike Trout's fans, and I don't know he had that many because he seems to be this anonymous player, but Mike Trout's fans and other media members are coming to his defense in waves. You know, Rob Manfred says he's not the perfect guy for baseball marketing. Well, they show you pictures of him bringing a six-year-old to batting practice and just hanging out with him for the entire session and stretching with him and everything else. How can you argue with that being bad for baseball? I think what Rob Manfred is doing is go ahead and he's going to be the heel. If you want baseball to have a bad guy, let him be the bad guy. And if it brings more attention to the sport, fine. I think one of the things that happens here with Trout, though, and I think it's okay to say this, he speaks in baseball cliche. He doesn't seem to be that much of an interesting personality, and that sport specifically doesn't reward personality. It punishes it by throwing baseballs at the people who show too much personality. He's not flamboyant in any way, so in that respect, Rob Manfred is right. That sport doesn't have a lot of personalities, and when they do have personalities, they tend to scrub them out. But you'd rather a disingenuous, like a non-genuine personality come out of him and undo all these commercials and everything? If he's going to be a boring or stay-at-home type of personality, then why is that going to sell tickets if it's in front of a camera? Just put your arm around a six-year-old. We'll buy <laughs> that till the end of time. There's only one way that this argument can be subtle. In the octagon. octagon. <laughs> In the octagon. Trout against Manfred. You know what I mean? There are. I'll pay to see that. No, you would not. It would end very quickly. Uh, Manfred would not have teeth. I'd still pay. Do you think Tricky Nicky really hasn't decided who his quarterback will be? It does not say Tricky Nicky there. It says Nick Saban, but he's got a choice now between Tua and Hurts. Tua was winning at the end of last season. Hurts was benched. Tua was threatening to leave if he wasn't played in that national championship game. So here's Nick Saban saying he's still undecided. I think the number one thing that you'll want to talk about is the quarterback controversy that you'd love to create, that you've already created, that you will continue to create. And I will tell you the same thing exists there. It's still to be determined as to who's going to play quarterback for Alabama. So you can ask all the questions about it, but it's still to be determined. The only thing I hate more than listening to Nick Saban press conferences is defending Nick Saban after his press conferences because this is kind of how you have to deal with it when you've got two star quarterbacks, one taking over early on and not doing so well, and then the other one taking over in the national championship game, and all of a sudden it looks like the starter going into this year. There are different options he can do with Hurts. He can sort of say that we're going to play both of them at quarterback and use Hurts in other positions as well. There's the idea that he can play four games now and then still redshirt and then transfer next year. His dad said if he didn't win the quarterback battle, that Hurts would be the biggest free agent in the history of college football. I don't know if that's even true, because if Nick Saban doesn't want him as his quarterback, maybe some other team won't want him as his quarterback either, but I do think that if he wants to stay and loses that quarterback battle, he's going to be gone either way. It is interesting, though, that Nick Saban, and you might think he's the best college coach any of us have ever seen, the greatest tribute to him that you can make is that he's won all those championships largely with not very good quarterback play. The idea that they now have two to choose from and that one of them is a young kid who was throwing the last pass of last season is an embarrassment of riches even for someone like Nick Saban who doesn't get embarrassed by his riches. Man, <laughs> tricky. Nick, you're ready. You gotta right. talk about it is a little guy. early for that. He's right. Come on. It's July. I mean, he's right. You know what? It would have been right right better now. for us to just go like this at the computer yeah, screen. That's right. I mean, uh, the Hawaiian guy is a quarterback or the other guy. Who cares? All right. There you go. <laughs> Coming up next on Highly Questionable. Number of watermelons sliced off your stomach. You all know the number for this, right? Here it is. Okay, this seems Hi. very dangerous. This seems... Uh, Hi. Wait, does he have to say that every Hi. time? Hi. Okay, the regular male. Do you question how she thought this was oh, going to no. go? Oh, oh no. Oh, no, no. My Son's TV show is brought to you by Land Rover, Above and Beyond. 
I just saved hundreds of dollars by switching to Geico. I'm as happy as a clam. Disclaimer, Geico cannot guarantee you will be, quote, as happy as a clam, unquote. The Geico legal team cannot accurately verify clams even experience the complex human emotional state known as happiness. As an invertebrate mollusk living half submerged on the ocean floor, with no arms, legs, or wireless access, what's there to be happy about? A clam's all like, oh, I'm so happy I didn't get turned into New England clam chowder today. Pronounced regionally as chowder. Chowder. Oh, that's so fun to say. What were we talking about again? Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Time to play the game that has absolutely no idea where he is right now. Do you question? Just know that you're safe. You give us topics and events, we question. I'm not sure how safe he is. Do you question if Floyd Mayweather is still undefeated? I would like to still see Floyd Mayweather box. Unfortunately, we're going to have to settle for him playing basketball. Here we go. He's playing basketball against model Brittany Brittany Elena. Elena. Oh, my God. Floyd, what happened? <laughs> Floyd Floyd thinks he's got the easy pull-up jumper. That is a giant L on his resume right there. <laughs> and he's complaining. Yeah, That's two losses. He is 50-2. and two. <laughs> He was found the player. Are you kidding He was me? kind of, was he calling a foul? <laughs> That's exactly what he was going. Floyd, I come on, man. Get out of here. Floyd. That is perfect D. If it would have been taught by Poppy himself, <laughs> it couldn't have been any better. Do you question if Russell Wilson found this funny? The greatest moment in the history of the ESPYs was Norm MacDonald setting fire to the place. But at the ESPYs, you get all sorts of comedy interactions that can be awkward. So here's Shiggy, a social media personality. I'm ashamed that in 2018, that's something (laughs) I need to know journalistically. Shiggy is a social media personality. And here we go. only wanted the photo with her. No, he did not think that was funny. Yeah. In fact, Russell Wilson should stay away from all cameras whenever he is with his wife because whatever comes out of it will be awkward. Have you seen him do the In My Feelings Challenge where he's just in the back going, while his wife is doing all the good work? I mean, all he did was take a beating for that. You're never going to look good, man. Let's look at this again here so you could uh, see just how used to this Russell yes, Wilson look, is. Yeah. Look at all him. Right. He might not have found it funny, Fake but he's smile. certainly used to it. Mm-hmm. Poor guy. It's not just that that's the guy who did it to you. He did it to you wearing <laughs> oh, that shirt. You think he that's cries a on thing that happened. That night. Oh, my goodness. You know, it reminds me when that guy tried to take the selfie. What guy tried to take the selfie? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem anything like the guy who tried uh, to take the selfie. It seems like a gratuitous throw to another video that involves picture taking. It's also a perfect example of what Russell Wilson's life is like. <laughs> so this guy holds the most uh, Guinness record, is that what it is? Yes. Do you question if this is an impressive record? You may have noticed that my father was talking before he just jumped right in and became <laughs> character and started reading the question. And he asked about this guy who has more than 200 Guinness World Book of World Records. And this one he's going after right here is the one you all know about. Number of watermelons sliced off your stomach. You all know the number for this, right? Here it is. Okay, this seems very dangerous. This seems... uh, Hey! Wait, does he have to say that every time? (laughs) Hey! I think that's clearly the best part. Doesn't matter that that's super sharp and he's about to cut his stomach off. (sighs) It's still there. So that's definitely not bad. set the record. 26 (laughs) was the record for those ignorant among you who did not know from memory. I could break that record by the end of the week. (laughs) Let's try that, shall we? Friday, tune in. I knew that he was... uh, he has some protection in that belly. Do you see that? Uh, how much hair he has? Oh, That's the hair you know, protection. Yes, you see what I mean? That's exactly how my father yeah. would protect Look it. With that. That. Yeah. Yes, thank That's you right. for the yeah. helpful visual aid. You want to see? You want to see? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you you want to see? Yeah. 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 That much hair? Yes, a little bit. You know, but that can go like that. You know, you can totally break that record. That's right. That's right. With all that protection, all that disgusting protection. It looks. It looks like there's an unsliced watermelon in there. Do you question how she thought this was going to go? All right, we've got a video from the 4th of July. Evidently, in 2018, the video takes a long time to get to this particular show. So July 4th, we've got a celebration of some sort. What happened? Came in regular mail. Do you question how she thought this was going to go? Oh, no. Oh, Oh, bad start. No, 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 no. There's a gap there. 
Okay, be careful. Get out of there. Get out of there. Uh, so fast forward. Oh, no. What a horrific oh, experience. God. You're just stuck there. What? I hope she just pops out of there and says, I'm totally fine. Ta- oh! I'll try to jump again. <laughs> Do you realize how horrific that video would have been if it had gone in another direction? It was way too much silence in here, Squeeze but we had nothing else to say. Death by a bridge. Highly questionable is broadcast from the Clevelander Hotel on beautiful South Beach, Miami. Time to play the game that was always more of a Dr. Dre guy. See? Oh, no. A little bit of a buffering hiccup situation on Dr. Dre. Why would he be more of a Dr. Dre guy than who? You tell us what to watch on TV tonight. We tell you if we're intrigued. Well, this is awkward. It is a little bit awkward. He's more of a Dr. Dre guy. I love Cube in college, NWA. What do we have? What's the first thing? Tomorrow morning on the Golf Channel, the British Open. Oh, here's Tiger Woods. Let's find out if Ice Cube likes some golf here in a second. Here's Tiger Woods here before... The British Open. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, no time for the kids. No time for the kids. That's unfair coverage (laughs) of Tiger Woods dissecting everything that he does that's not nice. Just mowing through some kids. Izzy, are you intrigued? Only if, and I won't get, wake up at 1.30 for this, but only if somebody explains to me what a Lynx course is, finally, because I have no idea. Uh, how about you? Can you do it, Cube? Can you explain it to him? Because I can't. Nope, and I'm not intrigued. <laughs> All right, there it is. He's done with golf. Bobby, yes. are you intrigued? Oh, see, see, I'm very intrigued. Listen, Tiger, he wasn't meant to the kids. He had to go to the bathroom. Okay, there what you is go. Well, there you go. When you gotta go, you gotta go. That's right. True. You gotta just push everybody out of the way, whether they're kids or not. You're not taking birth certificates there. You just gotta go to the bathroom. So many crying babies he's gotta run through when Poppy's gotta go. Right now in Charlotte, North Carolina, the USBA National Championship. There's a reason we'd be checking in here. Look, are you obnoxious Laker fan again? You've been quiet for yes. 10 years, but now he's obnoxious yes. Laker fan. Because now he's got LeBron, and LeBron's kid is coming for LeBron. Here's a kid talking trash to Bronny, LeBron's son. Here we go. And see, this is why Ice Cube is excited, because he's got the bigger model of that that's going to be doing that to everybody next year. Go ahead and talk trash to the father. See how that goes for you. Yeah. Oof, that's a long range. They need to go, the, the, the LeBron family need to go to trash talking school. LeBron don't talk trash or his son. They need to get a little bit in there. Look at that. Izzy, are you intrigued? I would like to know what the actual trash talk was because whatever you say, you can't make Bronny feel like he's not living the greatest life of any 13-year-old. <laughs> That's true. Ice Cube, are you intrigued, sir? I'm intrigued, but I, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed to be intrigued because... These guys are so young, man. We shouldn't be this intrigued. <laughs> but he's going to be a Laker in oh, like five that. or six you years with his dad. Dirty. You're so right. But we covered LeBron when he was that age, too. Poppy, are you intrigued? Oh, see, see, I'm very intrigued. Are you kidding me? Finally, I found somebody that is going to uh, to destroy all the records that LeBron has established. <laughs> okay, you know, this you is go. the beginning. There That's it, go. LeBron. You're <laughs> done. You're finished with Buddy. That's it. Might your as well time, kiss it off. Your time is over. <laughs> right when you got to Ice Cube's team. It's weird. What are you kissing off? <laughs> On a boat somewhere, Justin Turner and Alex Wood of the Dodgers. Does L.A. extend to the Dodgers? Do you love the Dodgers I as well? I love the Dodgers. All right, they got Manny Machado now. We've got a couple of his new teammates on a boat somewhere. Turner and another guy. Who's the other guy? Yeah, Alex me. Wood. Alex Wood. They're on a boat <laughs> celebrating the announcement that Machado is a Dodger. Oh, this looks natural. It's done. It's done? Yeah, we got Manny, dude. We got Manny? We got Manny! We got Manny! We got Manny, baby! We've got a professional actor on the set here. He will tell you that that is very poor acting. Izzy, are you intrigued? (laughs) I am very much intrigued. I mean, if you're going to go all in, you might as well just do the poor acting while you're at it. Ice Cube, are you intrigued? I'm intrigued because we got Manny, man. What are you talking about? You know what I mean? Anything works with that. (laughs) Yeah, he's very excited. He's proudly L.A. these days. It's gotten better in sports around there. Poppy, are you intrigued? Oh, see, see, I'm very intrigued. But listen, this two guys they are weak man they are weak they got money you gotta do better than that you gotta you gotta go skinny deep that's right that's why that's you gotta do it do. you gotta go there and you gotta dodge it take it all off and then take a dive <laughs> we wow. are excited about that take it all off and then dive 
Tonight on ABC, Jimmy Kimmel Live. We may have mentioned that he's allowed to be the obnoxious Laker fan again because they've got LeBron and on Jimmy Kimmel Live last night. Magic Johnson is answering who was consulted, yes or no, on what was happening with LeBron. Before you took this meeting with LeBron, did you speak to Lonzo Ball's father to make sure it was okay? <laughs> Uh, okay to recruit him to be a part of the team. I would have called you first before I called LeBron Ball. <laughs> well, okay. um, no, I didn't call LeBron. You did not call? No, okay. no. Uh, didn't call Lonzo probably either. Izzy, are you intrigued? Um, I, is he going to keep going on Jimmy Kimmel Live? It doesn't seem to usually work out for him. He got fined last time talking about Paul George. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Ice Cube, no high fives for you. You Ice already Cube. know I'm intrigued. Anything talking about the Lakers, getting LeBron, is interesting, must-see TV. Give Jimmy Kimmel a raise. Okay, uh, LeVar Ball is going to destroy Ice Cube's franchise. Very good? Okay, very Never. good? No, <laughs> he's not. How about you, Poppy? Are you intrigued? Oh, no, no, I'm not intrigued. You know, I'm so tired about LeBron. LeBron 24-7. Oh. You know, I'm t- I don't care what happens to LeBron. I don't care what happens to Laker. I don't want to talk about LeBron anymore. He hates him. He what? hates him, Q. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this is the time that you pick to be defined. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching. Our thanks to Ice Cube. Always better when he's around. Big3.com is where you go for tickets. Slash tickets if you want tickets. Friday, American Airlines Arena. The Big 3 is in town and also FS1. Thanks for watching. Nice show, Ice. Bye, Felicia. Oh! <laughs> That's how you do it. That's great. That is great. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>